Bruins finished the Liberty Softball Classic with an overall record of three and one, finishing day two of action with a split against Villanova and Notre Dame. And coach, it was really the tale of two different ball games today. Welcome to the Wild Wild West and then a pitcher's duel. For sure. We saw some home run ball today. Yeah. We saw a lot of action. We saw a game that we thought was over with, and it yeah. was not. And when 11 runs came up on one inning to actually turn that game around. But we, we saw some very good softball today. Yeah, it was a crazy one. Let's take a look back at the action, starting off with Villanova. And from the get-go, Liberty looked like the bats were going to roll all day. And really, they did. They had a pair of six-run innings. That's a lot of runs when you start talking about hanging a six up on the scoreboard. Yeah. First time the Flames have done that in quite some time. Emily Sweat had herself a day as well. A record at Liberty Softball Stadium, six RBI. But things got a little bit hairy. Top of the fifth, bases loaded, and Henry Jacks went over the wall, grand slam. And you think, okay, a blip on the radar. Flames still up, 15 to six, everything's fine. And then moments later, Another grand slam, top of the fifth, and people started to bite their nails a little bit. It was 15-13. Flames would hold on with some hitting. Danae Griffin sending that out to left. Flames would cash in two more. Pardon me, that was Amber Bishop Riley, rather, with the blast, and the Flames would hold on to win this one. Then they would go on to face Notre Dame in a contest which was much tighter. Alexis Holloway, the pitcher, would add to her own cause with a solo shot over the wall. And coach, she was tremendous throughout the day. It was, it was a Holloway show here today. Home run, great in the circle today, no doubt about that. Amber Bishop Riley with another blast to center. She has just been hitting the home run ball all season long. Flames back to within one. And then Liberty, the bats, I wouldn't say faltered, but Holloway continued to be dominant. She would have the complete game. Notre Dame would take it by a score of three to one. Let's take a look here at the final stats. We mentioned Emily Sweat, three for three in the first game, a home run, two doubles, six RBI, a record at Liberty Softball Stadium. Alexis Holloway, the complete game, only allowing two hits, one earned run, two Ks, and she was tremendous in the circle and in the batter's box. That's gonna do it from the Liberty Softball Classic. We'll see you here early next week.